If you're interested in knowing the latest on the Bronx real estate market, stay tuned because I'm going to give you the five most important numbers that will tell you all you need to know about the Bronx real estate market in April 2023. Hi, my name is Justin Braithwaite and I'm the broker and owner of Braithwaite Realty in New York City. Number one, let's start with prices. In the Bronx, the median sales price is currently $585,000, which is slightly down from $590,000 last month and down from $622,000 this time last year. Prices were decreasing since last August when we peaked at $642,000, but did increase last month and we're still higher now than in January, so overall it looks like the market may be turning. It'll be interesting to see if this trend continues, so please subscribe so you don't miss next month's report. Number two, let's look at the sales price to list price ratio. This is a really good metric because it tells us how close to asking price sellers are getting. Currently, we're just under 95%, which is up from just under 94% last month. The sales price to list price peaked in June of last year at 100% and had been decreasing until this month, so great to see and really hope that this trend continues next month. Number three, next up is days on market, which tells us how long on average it takes to get a property in contract in the Bronx. Right now we're at 52 days, down from 64 last month. This is also very positive and great to see. As a rule of thumb, less than 120 days is considered a seller's market, and we're at half of that. Number four, let's look at how many homes are for sale now and how it's trending. The number of active homes for sale right now is 238, which is down from 251 last month. The number of homes for sale peaked at 372 last year and has been on a steep decline, which is good news for sellers, for sure, and hopefully this trend also continues. Number five, let's take a look at how often sellers are reducing their prices in the Bronx. On average, 10 sellers reduced their asking prices each week last month versus 13 each week the prior month. So also moving in the right direction. And we're below the recent average of 18, so we're in good shape relative to recent history. Price decreases are considered a leading indicator, so they give us an idea of what's gonna be happening in the future. So that's the latest on the Bronx real estate market. On the positive side, sales price to list price is up, and days on market, homes for sale, and the number of price reductions are all down. On the negative side, Prices are down slightly from last month and year over year. Overall, looks like we're poised for prices to turn around, but let's see what happens next month. Hit subscribe so you don't miss my next video coming out in May, and you have all the information you need to make informed real estate decisions. Questions, put them in the comments below, and I'll see you next month for your May real estate market report.